Welcome to Questing Time. I'm Paul Foxcroft, and this button starts the show. Welcome back, team. This is episode three, part one of our 2020 live streams that we started in lockdown and then kept going because <laughs> lockdown did. Just throwing shade at lockdown there. Our players are, as ever, Bryony Redman, Matthew Hyten, Richard Soames and Rufus Hound. And they have been asked to fetch a book from a man named Jan Largo in the town of Ravensholm. Which is... I mean, they've forgotten about that at this point. To be fair, when they arrived at the town, they found it full of zombies. They got trapped in a tailor's for a while and then spent last session clambering over the rooftops in order to get entirely redundant ham. But they've now got ham and maybe more focus. Who can say? Perhaps this session they'll look into the mystery as to why some of the zombies have glowing blue eyes. Or maybe they'll gloss over that entirely. Let's find out. This episode does start with a really cool animated recap that the players made, which only really works if you've seen the shows in their entirety and remember more than the players do. It's not, it's not a useful narrative tool, but it is a fun thing to watch. Previously on Western Time. So basically what's happened, right, is me and my friends, we've sort of like been having this little adventure. As I see it, it was all fairly straightforward. We were... Uh, on the night in question, my colleagues and I found ourselves in the Call to Adventure Inn, enjoying ourselves with a nice beverage. A wee killing mice, rats, the like. Uh, before a gentleman of about six foot, a white Caucasian male, uh, started an argument. Now this is a story all about how our lives got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute to describe four clowns and how they became known as the best people in town. Some blokes started on hardcore. We thought it was just going to be a nice down, down at the pub. Uh, after the fracas, uh, uh, in which my colleagues uh, used an appropriate level of force. That didn't end well for them. When a couple of guys yelled at Reverend Hardcore, started a fight, spilled drinks on the floor. Uh, a lady of the name Mordant Thrubwell, um, who sent us on a quest. Long story short, we had to get out of the town. I said, was there booze when we got there? Then we set off. We packed pretty quick and then left that day. Got stopped by goblins while on our way. Uh, we encountered some uh, riddling goblin creatures. And then they sort of said, hey, if you answer these riddles, then I'll give you some magic stuff. Uh, we were forced to answer their somewhat frivolous questioning, um, which we did so uh, satisfactorily. We wrote him a message in blood just in case he came back. We arrived at Raven's home, but the gate was shut. Upon our approach to Raven's home, uh, we were attacked uh, by creatures that I would describe as not living, but also not dead. There were zombies inside. So we got Claire into the, the town by throwing her up on the side of the wall. They went off on a wee raid on a catapult. But on a trebuchet, and we went over there Robin Hood style, and Claire put these bodies out and they went smush. Uh, whereupon further complications arose. And these guards were like, shh, but we were really happy, so we were singing this song where like, honk, 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 There were zombies and a statue of a faceless goddess. We fought the good fight. I think I was unconscious. Uh, what I would describe as a Section 35 environmental catastrophe. We hid in a tailor's, but they found us free. We retired to a uh, tailor's abode, uh, and that night I dutifully informed the wife of uh, this gnome tailor uh, that we believed her husband to be deceased. And she's like, oh, where's my husband? And we were like, oh, oh, he's dead. And then she was all like, what do you mean he's dead? And then so when we said they were starving, we said, hey, let's get them some food. And we we're like, oh, sorry about that. But don't worry, we'll try on your fancy clothes. And we got any drank some dwarvish booze. It was pretty good. Had a long cap. Woke up. The next day, the heavily intoxicated dwarf rough knight uh, led the charge over rooftops. There were zombies everywhere, so to tell you the truth, we threw the halfling to get roof to roof. We were the rules and I got thrown about a lot. Smash into an Italian restaurant. Which uh, we discovered was in breach of at least three health code violations. And uh, oh, there was these rats with blue eyes. Again, uh, we employed appropriate levels of force. The Reverend Hardcore was smashing his armor around. Uh, to keep the situation under control. Why the glowing eyes is a sinister omen? Who knows, we solved it with a massive explosion. Merely causing the building to catch fire 
and later explode. You look so cool and smash the gaff up, set it on fire and take all the food back to the people that were being chased by zombies. In what was another satisfactory mission. Honk, 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 honk. I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot of it. It was, uh, <laughs> let's just see the details there, eh? <sighs> Rough. And that's pretty much where we're up to and that's what happened. Matt Hayden made that. Him, there. Unbelievable. How great was that? Um, that Come is on. the kind of that is the kind of quality item that we bring to a stream when we literally can't leave our homes to work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like all of our breakdowns are being channeled into this. Uh, <laughs> and, and why not? Also, thank you, oh, God. Thank you for the um, thank you so much for the donations again. <laughs> Uh, if you donate, it does make quite a noise in my ear. So, I mean, please, oh Christ, please do donate, but at the same time, like, temper it. Don't. Just in one lump is bad. Um, I can't make it better than that. Right, anyway, so um, that's broadly what happened uh, last the last two sessions we've had. Um, uh yeah, so um, you guys had made it back to um, the. Let me just look at the map. You guys had made it back to the iron, ironstone, ironstone garments. Uh, the tailors, the tailors in which you and a couple of other survivors are um, currently residing. And uh, yes, you've made it back there with two bags, three bags of uh, cured meat, uh, exceptional cheese, and um, wine. Uh, as well as, if memory serves, Bryony. Yeah. You are in possession of a meat cleaver you stole from a weird undead chef. Yes. And a. Where are we? Where's mine? Ah, oh, there it is. And also a jar of deep honey. Oh, I have the deep honey. Uh, I don't know who picked up the deep honey. Somebody did. I can't remember who it was. Oh, I got the deep honey. I got the deep honey. Yeah, I've got the cleaver. <clears throat> Lovely Adam Lawton just made a very good point in the chat. Small donations honk more. So just saying. <laughs> good point. Don't make that yeah. point. <laughs> give little, give often. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not a thing you have to do. Uh, it's very loud. And Rob tells me we can't turn it down. Okay, good. We all... Great, that's happened. Um... Good. That's some of the electric <laughs> no, no, we're fine. content Everything's that fine. you can expect over the next three hours. So, yeah. <laughs> Strap in, everyone. Oh, yeah. If you like long oh, yeah. hanging every now, pauses, every now and then. in the right place. Every now and then, I will... Every now, what will happen is I will periodically forget where I am and what I'm doing. Um... <laughs> because that's what happened just then. Um, how is everyone else doing in the apocalypse? I'm not really sleeping. Um, I'm thinking of getting a hat. This is the thing that's happening. Uh, great. Good hat, great. Well, everyone's Thank you. I want a dog. In, in their own way. Um, you should get one. We all, we all want a dog. Um, <laughs> so, Bryony. Yes. Uh, or rather, I should say, everybody, you've arrived back. You've arrived back at the um, the tailor's. Uh, distributed the food that you stole uh, while destroying a local restaurant. Uh, of course, you stole you you took all of the food from the restaurant uh, and destroyed it, and then got back to realise that you all were carrying quite a lot of food anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. I mean, I think we should pick it up there. I think I th you're also, oh, if memory oh, serves, I'll say memory. I mean, worth, your character sheets. You're all quite injured. For what it's worth, we were carrying food, but what we've come back with is cuisine. Yes, mm -hmm. quite right. Which we so, we will we will fair. share and give them our rations. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's set up a table, make it like a proper restaurant. We'll put some candles yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. I'll play the lute like it's a violin. This could be a ball yeah. episode. They're all they're all sat eating crackers, and we've laid out like a gingham tablecloth. One of those bottles of the wax all in here. Yep. You're playing. <laughs> <clears throat> it's electric. It's, it's electric. electric. Okay, Bryony, Bryony, would you 
<laughs> Bryony, would you make a performance check, please? If you are going to play a lute <laughs> like a violin, I am going to make you. I'm going to make you make this performance check at disadvantage. So oh. roll twice and keep the worst result. Well, that's not bad, though. I've got plus five, twenty-one, and that was the worst <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, inexplicably, you are able to convincingly play a lute like a violin. Wow! <laughs> All about the you, angle. Uh, you, 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 Jimi, you, Jimi Hendrix. This. He was. There's a the reason band. they call her the Amazing Claire. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I can play any instrument like it's a yeah. different instrument. <laughs> Do you it like watch, a uh, play a set of you should watch her play a set of drums like a uh, cor anglais. It's absolutely <laughs> breathtaking. And it's really hard to fit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking requests at this point? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to hear? Oh, always uh, Freebird. Always <laughs> what? Freebird! Freebird! <laughs> Freebird! Honk, honk, honk. At which point, Casbanda, um, the 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 dwarven gentleman who owns the tailors, wanders across to you. He, all crackers on his chin. He's got no beard. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I was sorry to interrupt. Um, I just wondered, maybe if you would consider not being so loud. On account of all of the undead outside, uh, you try uh, you try having a lockdown without any art or music or books or <laughs> movies. It's really hard. You, you, I, I, you're aware that I'm in the same boat as you. Like I'm also trapped in. Well, they don't trust anything like, you say. You're also you're in my this house. Ain't no boat, mate. It's a tailor shop. Just saying. This ain't no punk club either. Yeah. Look, we're just we're we're very sorry. We're just trying to. Thank you for the donation. Team. We've had a very difficult adventure getting you some food, so we're just trying to you know relax. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, on which we are very grateful for you, any food you've given us. It's just what we don't want is your kind donation of food to be overshadowed by us all being eaten by the undead. Okay, you make a good point with that one. Yeah. I'll give you that. In fact, yeah, I, I won't lie. I'd thought this out before I came in. Um. While we're here, um, I, I don't know to the extent to which you're aware of this, but usually the town is not full of animated corpses. Well, are they um, normally more alive? Do you think, or... given that you've been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually they're quite... They're, uh, normally they're quite limp. Okay. okay. Like um, dead. Because dead people are would you turgid. So I see what you want to ask us. I know. You want us to buy do you? some food. I don't think you do. Because these guys aren't buying. No. Oh, okay. Worth the guess. How would you get there from that? Because you work in a business no, that's um... probably not running right now because right now, of zombies. Yeah, it's almost as if this town would be a lot more efficient uh, uh, you're if right, there was that... less zombies. Yeah. You know what? You should think about getting rid of the zombies. We could probably I help I would go so far as to say... I'll take it. Done. What? Wait a minute. Please do. Please literally do that. Please help get rid of uh, the zombies. Well, we'll have to have some negotiations on what it's worth for us, mate. So uh, I'm not no chief negotiator. I'm well, going to throw that out to my colleagues to do some negotiating. But I'm not going to go around killing dead things for free. Just saying. Guys, I think I... I've got him on the ropes. Right. <laughs> while, while they're having this conversation... I sigh, stand yep. up, um, and go to whichever exit sounds like there isn't zombies behind it. Right. Well, the town... So this, there's two exits. Uh, one at the front that opens onto the town square, which is quite... I'm going to say zombie-centric. Yeah. Most of the zombies are, are, are in the town square. Quite a is lot of them a have moved onto the other side of the town square to the is restaurant there... you set fire to. There is a back is door... There... Um, there are some zombies in that alley. Okay. I was going to pull a ball and move and just stand up, leave, walk out the door and come back with a zombie's head. <laughs> uh, if you want to crack the back door open and make a check for me. 
Yeah, I want to just quickly perceive whether or not I can do that as like a proper baller move. Yeah. So, perception. Yeah. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Sorry. 14. It's all right. 14. Yeah, you're fine with that. Uh, the back alley, there's fewer zombies out there. There's still a, there's more than there were yesterday because you've made a lot of ruckus. And that's the way you came back into the um, yeah into the tailors early. Because like, bear in mind, even though it was last week, we're picking up continuous. continuous. So you've re arrived at the tailors about 20 minutes ago. There's like three zombies in the alley, but they're spread out. There's one near the door. You reckon you might be able to take it down before the others get to you? They're slow. Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna literally open the door, smash off this zombie's head. So how? Uh, just straight up strength check. Well, stealth check. What do you reckon? Uh, it would be an attack roll. Okay. Uh, it would be an attack. You are attacking this zombie. Uh, have I got advantage? Your desire to quickly efficiently. Do um, do you know what? I'll say that you have, because this thing hasn't seen you. You have advantage yeah. on your first attack. <clears throat> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Meanwhile, while Ruff's attacking, we've said, <laughs> yeah, our best negotiator is Ruff. Oh, uh, you better talk to our second best negotiator. <laughs> That's hardcore. <clears throat> you turn around. You turn around and Ruff is not there. Which modifier do I add? So, um, Jack Hardcore. Hello. No, it's you, the one next to your greatsword. Thank you. Uh, we'll come back. Let me know what you've rolled in a second. Meanwhile, okay. Jack. <clears throat> yes. Claire has but, just pointed at you and said, you're the best negotiator. Second best. <laughs> yes. She doesn't need to rub salt in the wound. Yeah. Um, listen, uh, yeah, so we're very happy to help, of course. That's what we're all about. But uh, you have to understand that we don't work for free. You know, we're not you know, doctors on Frontier. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Well, then, fair enough. I mean, it's difficult currently to have a good idea of exactly how much money the town would be able to get together. But I would be willing to put forward 50 gold for my own coffers. Um, and perhaps I could have a chat with a couple of other businesses or the local town council and see what else they would be able to get together. It would, of course, depend on exactly how many of them are still alive. So the longer you leave this, the less money you're making. Okay. Is there a furlough option? <laughs> how would that work? I don't know. I still don't fully understand it myself in this world or the other. Yeah, you pay us 80% of the 50 gold pieces and we don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Okay, it's fair. That is, right. You know what, um, you negotiated um, well there. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the back I alley, on his own, having told... No, you've hit that zombie. Congratulations, you've hit that zombie. Please roll your damage. Nine. Plus three, twelve. Uh, 12 damage. Great. Um, yeah. Thanks for the donation. Um, <clears throat> thank you for the honking sound. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, nine, um, 12 damage. So, you slam your greatsword into the side of the zombie's head, into its neck, in fact, and it just gets stuck in its spine as the zombie turns around and claws at you. Um, so it's having it's going to have disadvantage to smack you back because you're still holding onto a great sword stuck in its neck. Yeah. What is your armor class? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, improbably, I have hit. Um, four. How much damage do I do? Uh, five damage to the rough knight as this zombie just smacks you across the face. You lose a couple of teeth. Um. As a sort of meaty, undead fist of gristle and exposed bone slaps you uh, directly in the face. According to my notes, you're down to eight hit points. Yes, that's um, correct. Meanwhile, back in the tailor. Do you have any items that could help us in this shop that we could maybe use to get about the town? Or maybe, you know, just something useful, maybe like uh, a weapon of mass destruction 
or you know um some armor i don't know it's your house Philin is our third best negotiator well i mean <laughs> right <Nope. clears throat> i the happily thing. do it for free i mean all i have is tail as done. long as we can then write a song about it and be known for having done it. Claire, no, 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 no. All right, fine. If you save the town, then I will sign away the rights to that story to you. <laughs> this is a pretty good deal, guys. This is I... a really good deal. Poker faces, everyone. Hardcore. Rough Take when us you home. Need him. Where is rough when you need him? This is... Look, okay, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it for free because we believe in justice and goodness and ridding towns of evil. And getting the we, rights for doing it. And we also want the merchandising rights to the toy line. Yeah. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. All right, fine, sure. No, by all means. Um Okay, fine. I'll draw up a rough agreement, and when when everything's settled down, you can take it to the advocate's office and have it made. I ask though, just before we go out, <coughs> we, we... are you sure you wouldn't prefer gold? We could take mm. gold as well. But we'll... Uh, also, do you have any any okay. healing potions or anything? Because a few of us are a bit oh, banged yeah. up from the last the last adventure you sent us out on. Uh... Uh, no, uh, we don't. Again, I'm a tailor. So what, you don't make clothes that heal you? There's a gap in the market there, mate. Oh, wait, but no, I can I'm cure normal I can clothes. Cure I don't know any magic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think many of you have the means of healing yourselves. Many of us do, but you know what? Some companies have billions, and they still ask the government for bailouts. So you know what? <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> pandemic, mate. <laughs> Fair point. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, back in the alley, um, the yeah. rough knight is tussling with a zombie. Would you like to make another attack roll, please, Rufus? This time, you don't have advantage. It's just a regular attack. Thank you so much, Baldy, for that massive donation. Um, thank you. That's ludicrous. Thank you so much. Um, um, would you like to know what my roll was? It was 24. I would love to wow. know. What? what? Holy shit. Was that a natural yeah. 20? No, it was a 19, and then I get a 5 with my greatsword. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay. Roll your damage, please. Uh, da -da -da Nine. Oh, are you kidding? Nine in total, yes? No. Yes. <laughs> He's not dead. <coughs> um, you, pull, you put your foot on the zombie's chest, you pull your greatsword free and wheel around and kind of uppercut it. So you're cutting up through its rib cage. You hear the ribs snap and crack as you go through it, but the thing is still coming at you and it's clawing its way up your greatsword at you, um, swinging at you to try and hit. What's your armor class 16? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> what it does is it. it, it it brings its arm down and it gets a 15. It misses you by one. Smashes its hand onto your your, uh, your sort of armoured shoulder pad and its wrists, here yeah. its wrists snap. Um, right. like the, the hand on the end of it's gone all limp. It's more like a flail now than anything else. But the thing is yeah. like, the thing is climbing up your greatsword towards you. It's quite close to you right now. Uh, your turn again. Would you like to make a hit roll of some kind? Uh, your greatsword uh, is lodged yeah. in it. What do you want to yeah. do? Yeah, this time... I'm just going to grab it by the top of the head and I'm going to pull its head off. Because the first... The first make a, make a... Most of the way through its neck. So I reckon I can pull this motherfucker's head off. Fair. Um, in which case... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, the... Make an opposed strength check. Or you're going to make a strength saving throw and I'm going to make a constitution saving throw to try and keep this guy's head on. Okay. And whoever gets the highest will win. He's only got one hit point left. This seems fair. Okay, so it's straight Go for it. D20, dueling D20s, right? D20, D20 plus your strength modifier. Okay, great. That's a plus three on 10, 13. Yep. Well, I'm plus three, but I've got a four because I rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you. 
you just grab this zombie by the by the the, the side of its head and just pull upwards, um, and the zombie is somehow helping you. <laughs> it's like it's wriggling side to side and weakening its neck bone. Um, and so yeah, you hear it with a snap and a wet sort of cracking sound. Um, you are now holding a zombie's head in your hands, and you turn okay. around in the alley and you see two zombies have advanced upon you. They're getting to roughly to, uh, they, and they're walking up to where the door back to the tailors is. But you're yep. now holding a, I should point out, you're holding a zombie's head in both hands. Your greatsword is lodged in the now prone stomach of a zombie. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull out my greatsword and walk back into the tailors. Cool. Um, sure enough. Meanwhile, back in the tailors, you have negotiated for, if I am correct, the rights to the story of your own adventures. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, did you did you agree on fifty gold? Yes, I, I feel like we did that when I was negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think it got away from us a little bit, so I don't know. That's why you're the second best one, hardcore? I know, I know. I know and you we... got trained in it. Well, let's let's argue. Let's argue that that is the case. Don't All forget right. the toy uh... line merchandising rights. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Matt, would you kindly make a note of all of Thank those, you. please? <laughs> Noted. Uh, and so, um, as you've settled this agreement, um, uh, what's it, um, you, uh, from the front of the shop, you hear Alana, the guard, just kind of call, call you through. Guys, guys, come and look. Come and look at this. Ooh, what, what? what is it? What is what? it? It's a weird thing is happening outside. But if you look, you will see. Well, yeah, describe oh. it. <laughs> well, yeah, we'd rather you described it. Sometimes it... <laughs> the zombies are being weird. How are they being weird? Are they like, are they like doing impressions of people or something? What are they doing? Um. Well, yeah, some of them are being weird. They're do kind of doing impressions. They're building something. What are they? But is there one with a tile in his face? Because he's my enemy. Are any of them glowing blue? No, blue no. eyes. Um, I can't see. Oh, if any of them got a red leather jacket on. And it's around this point. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. It's around this point. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Questing, questing I think time. <laughs> so it wasn't that. Who just that was what they were doing. That's a bit in, in the video. <clears throat> it... Sure. Um, at this point, the rough knight re-emerges from the street, comes back into the tailored, um, holding a um, severed zombie head. And I just throw it. And into you can the hear the moans room. and groans of a couple of zombies. I throw it into the middle of the room and I just fix whoever we were negotiating with in the eye and I say, and we'll also be needing all of your dwarfish spirit. <laughs> now that is a baller move. <laughs> and some skittles. That, that is why Ruff <laughs> is our chief negotiator. Sure. <laughs> nice work. So yeah, he... Um... He uh, grabs the. He opens a cupboard and just tosses you a, one of those stone bottles from earlier on. Because that's the last of it. You make make good use of it. Okay, now yeah. we should probably figure out what these zombies are doing. If yeah. they're, you know, because like if they're building something nice, that could be good for the town. So you know, a stadium or a, a museum of sorts. Or yeah, if it's some, a stadium. Something to bring the tourists in, and we don't want to interrupt that. Can I try and have a look through uh, the door, uh, through a crack or something, Paul? Depends which I eye you use. That's true. Yeah. Yep, I realise that. Uh, through my good eye. Um, I'll use my good eye. Good choice. Yes, you absolutely can. Rich, make a perception check as you just you peek through the curtain to have a look out of the, um, the front no. of the shop. It is starting to get dark. Oh, like I say, I should have mentioned this earlier on. Um, a rain, a heavy rain is starting to fall. Um... Does that put the fires um, out? No, but it's it's hampering the fires spread. Um, I rolled it. 
is making the fire. It's making the fire spread less quickly. Okay. And presumably would be a Rich real thing for any building work going on. Mm. Um, I, I I rolled a twenty-one. Uh, if they were alive, yeah. Oh, okay. Twenty-one. It's also just as a note. It's really hard to look at a character sheet while <laughs> missing an eye. Um, but I'll do it as in character as I can. Okay. So yeah, I should point out, literally, no one has asked you to wear the iPad. But, um, it's a choice you've made. Uh, I'm glad we had this time. Um, the 21, Richard, yeah, you can see that um, a small group of zombies, three of them, are um, in the middle of the town square in the debris of the statue that. Um, mm. Was had collapsed. Yeah. Um, they are building. They're hammering a, like a fence post into the ground. Um, and as you watch them, you can see quite clearly these three zombies have glowing blue eyes. The rest of them don't. The rest of them are just sort of milling around aimlessly, like zombies are expected to do. Okay. Um, and then, um, as you watch them this uh you see them uh tie the severed head of another zombie that's still alive while well, still active um to the post uh and this severed head has blue eyes and has been tied in such a way that it's looking directly at the tailors okay that's terrifying that done the um, the three zombies that made it, the blue glow vanishes from their eyes and they just start milling around okay. like um, normal zombies. Can I do, or can anyone who's good at Arcana do like an Arcana check on the blue eyes? Well, I can tell you this, my tattoo went cold again. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Can I also, because with the cleaver, can I do a check on it? Because isn't it it's connected? Oh. I've got Arcana. Um... You can make make an arcana check 19. if you want to have an idea of what this cleaver is. Nineteen. This is a uh, magic a magic weapon. Ooh. Um, it is well, it is a better weapon than ones you currently have available. Oh, I'll, I'll probably use that one. Um, it is. Yep. Um, you can attune yourself. To, you need to attune yourself to oh, it. I've, I've tuned the guitar. Uh, before you can use it, and that takes. Um, you can do that with a short rest. So if you spend a short rest focusing on the magic item, you can then use it properly. Guys, can we um, have um, a short rest before we go out and tackle the zombies, <laughs> just so I can tune up this cleaver? At the moment, uh, it's still also, out of don't tune. forget. Uh, don't forget that a um, in, during a short rest, you can use your hit dice to heal up, and Brian, you can help that with a song of rest. Let's do Ooh. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, song of rest. Yeah, I'll do Although, that too. Isn't a rest in music just where you don't play? Yeah. <laughs> it's a really quiet song. Right, okay. Right. Yeah, well, it what you play is you play do. four minutes and 44 seconds by John Cage. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope and everyone's enjoying my sweet jazz references there. <laughs> um, it is an absolute yeah. banger. To so, are you guys taking a short rest? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'm we'll doing do this silent song. I feel like. That's a mistake right. for us because you want us to do it. Um, Does this mean we're going back up to full hit not, points? Uh, so uh, it doesn't. It means each of you has two hit dice yep. available for your character. Yeah. Uh, and you can use them uh, to, to do kind of about what would basically be kind of first aid. Okay. Um, but it's up to you how many hit dice you want to use. Um. So Matt, your you your hit dice are D six. You're only two hit points down. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you no, if you I'm, use I'm, any I'm... hit dice, yeah, Bryony gives you an extra D six. I think. Okay. Well, I'll do that now. And I got three and four. Then you so... get two hit points back. I'm back up to fifteen, baby. Uh, are you updating your sheet, or shall I? I, I I've got um. A paper sheet, just for ease. So fair enough. I'll keep yours updated online in case people, in case the viewers are watching along. Yes. Um, Richard, the Reverend Hardcore, is on nine hit points out of eighteen. Would you like to spend a hit dice? 
Yes. Um, I've ro rolled a d6, is that correct? You do. No, you don't. Not at all. Because you're a cleric, you'll hit dice a d8. Right. How many hit dice Wait. would you like to use? Uh, I'll just use one, right? I'll just use one. Plus a six from me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's 11. Cool. You're back up to full. Sweet. Uh, Claire, you're on 14. You're only two hit points down. Would you like to use a hit list? Yeah, which one is it? Uh, D8. Will this... Okay. Sure. Imagine I've rolled it. There we go. <laughs> No, that's definitely the um, because I got I mean, nine. It's for you to get. Whoa, Rich's eyes healed from that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's right now. I, I got a three. A miracle. Good. Uh, you're back to full. And the Rough Knight, you're currently on eight hit points after 22. Would you like to maybe use both hit dice? Yeah. So I'm just looking at the Yours are D10s. And it says hit yes. die. I get one D10 plus two. Oh yeah, you get your constitution modifier as well. But it means I so forgive me. So that means I can use one D ten plus two, but I can do that twice, because is that right? Brian, is Brian that what you're saying? Helping us on. Yes. Ah, right. Nope, that's got nothing to do with oh. it. Nope, that's irrelevant. My um, bad. So oh. you can do as a character, you can spend as many hit dice as you please. You have two. Uh, each one is one D ten, you add two to the result. Um Bryony then adds 1d6 to the end of any healing you do during the short rest. Okay, lovely. And then the option I've got above that... So you might that, be able to get away with just one. The option I've got above that is recover. Yes. No, you're not and doing that. Why am I not doing that? Uh, because I'm not letting you. Oh, I see. Because it does say I can just reset to maximum HP. Yes. That's um, not happening. You're, and we're not doing that. No, okay. you're not. Okay. I think Paul's got a right, tie well, gonna... on your back. <laughs> it looks that way, isn't it? Mm. Feels, feels very anti-dwarf, wow. if you don't mind my saying, Paul. Mm. Oh, um, dwarfist. Mm. And there's only one dwarfist that most people have seen. It's that one, yeah. Ah, oh, eat that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I believe, um, Rufus, I believe you still have inspiration from last month, last week. You're uh, damn right I so do. I, otherwise, I would give you, I'd give you inspiration for that. But uh, not to focus on the game too much. Right. How many hit points do you get back? Uh, okay, I'm going to roll one d10. Because um, we think sure. we, I might be able to. Can I do this once, see how I get on, and then maybe do it again? You'd need to take a second short rest. Yeah. Or That's I can just hour. use both hit die. No, you can use both at the, uh, the uh, off, both to go off with it. Yeah. Um, and when, but, do, I, when do I? Yeah, go, sorry, go on. Uh, you get you get half your hit dice back on a long rest. Okay. Right, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, bollocks to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Two. Here we go. Two of them. Oh, I rolled, I've rolled tens on both because I get the plus two. So I've rolled two eights with the plus twos yep. on both is two tens. Plus an extra d6 for Bryony, which is a six. Uh, so you get 26 hit points back, but you're back up to your maximum of 22. Yeah. Okay. Wow, right. we're all feeling very healthy. Mm. Yeah. That was that was some uh, good rest admin, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Bryony, you are now attuned to the um, uh, the butcher's knife, as it's called. <gasps> uh, That's going to be helpful so with rest. 100%. Um, so what this is, it is it functions as a um, it's a weapon used, you, uh, you, you use it with your dexterity modifier um, so you would use it the same way that we'd use your um, where are we? Rapier. Uh, you use it exactly the same as your rapier except that you add one to da you add one to hit you add one to the damage and you add one to your hit points for every level that you've got. Two hit points. So, so plus one. Does that mean because my rapier is plus five, I now plus six, or no? Yes. Got it, yeah. That's how plus one works. 
classic um, arithmetic. Uh, That's why I'm classic. the fourth best negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Below me, that's bad. Because of maths. <laughs> um, now, um, having had a rest, uh, Kazbanda rustles back into the room and presents you with... Uh, oh, look, I, I know I've not got much uh, to help you out with uh, adventuring and whatnot, um, but um, I do have a map of the town, if that's of use. That is very much... And presents you, you with Ooh, yeah. this map, which I think I've sent you all. Yes. A glow um, up right Rob, down. is it possible to put the big map of the town up on the screen? If you haven't already. Um, let's find out. Um, but So yeah, there's a, a map of the town there. Um, Brian, I'm just going to change your hit points by adding two extra ones. Um, just to ask our delightful host of the tailors, or the tailor, as they're otherwise known, yeah. um, do you have any clue on this map? where the zombie headquarters is? No. Hmm. Where did you first notice the zombies? There's a zombie head oh, over there. If you want, I can cut it into quarters. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, here's the situation. A couple of days ago, um, everything was normal. Um, and there was a horrible storm. And then that night, um, we were uh, woken with screams. And there was a fire blazing somewhere, uh, and the town it was was about three in the morning or thereabouts. And um, yeah, the town was just overrun with undead. We don't know where they've come from. We've not been able to mount a, a defense of any kind or coordinate anything. Everyone's been trapped in their homes. I hope, except for those people who've been killed or fled. I mean, you said the town's been barricaded from the outside. God alone knows who's who done that. But it, it, it seems like a smart move to keep the zombies trapped in here and there's a some of them are weird they're different you know like um the fast ones that took out the other guards the ones you yeah. killed on your first night into town that's not normal zombie behavior no it's not no. I, these and are the, the first zombies i've seen i can't confirm that, that <laughs> i mean you've already told me that you'd saw, seen some zombies in, uh, in in westgate so i know that's not true my memory's not so good, though, so sorry okay. about that. Just just All generally, right. it's probably best if you direct the conversation to uh, me and Ruff. You best right. yeah. with that, actually. That's well, look, fair. I mean, the entire point of me coming across was to show you the map. There you go, you can have a copy of that. Um, okay. Is there anything... I mean, like, I don't... Is there anything you, you might be holding out on us, you know, like... Somewhere, say you put yourself in our shoes. Is there anywhere you'd be interested in looking at? You know, sort of like maybe a local hotspot, a nice tourist trap. Um, I'd like to ask as well. On that note, is who was in charge here before the zombies oh, yeah. came? And why did well, they the mayor, it? the mayor, where... and the guards and the council of merchants? Are you about to ask me where they are? I don't know. I've been trapped in this house for three days. Okay. Well, what, what was the last thing? What was the last decree that the mayor passed? What decree? Well, the last thing he said. Sorry, I was using flamboyant language. I, I don't know. Um, normal mayor stuff. Was it like... Um, he gave a speech a couple of weeks ago at the uh, opening of the Spring Festival. Was that the one where he said everyone should go out and get bitten? And that's the best way to get rid of the zombies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That that really? uh, no. No. I mean, if you're looking for the mayor, I mean, maybe try the town hall or the mayor's house. We were over We've near the town, hall, to the town so hall. A new one. Couldn't see new one in there. No. Where's the oh, house? Well, if you've, as long as you've searched it thoroughly. Then well, we looked through the window, <laughs> which is as good as. Well, you know what. We've been looking at your map, and a few things that I would like to point out is right. we've, we've already, we know dead things come from dead places, so we got the funeral home, but also we're getting banged up a lot, so maybe the herbalism place might be a good place to go, because then we can stock up on some herbal stuff that might make us better if we get injured. There are just some things jumping out to me straight off the, the map. That's Over a good to point. you guys. Okay. About the funeral home, because it's like that is where 
dead bodies usually start. Yeah. So then become zombies. So if you're going backwards, it's, you know, you don't <coughs> want to go back too far and go to a hospital where they're born. You kind of just yeah. want to go to the funeral home. Would Plus, that make more sense than the graveyard? Hmm. Mm. Or That's as a much point. The funeral home's a candy store. Oh, you vote the candy oh. store. Say, say no more, candy store. <laughs> Your catchphrase. <laughs> say no more, candy store. <laughs> say no more, candy store. Um, can Rich, I just make a quick point? If you can find a way... Oh. Sorry, what was that? If, Richard, if, you, if Richard, if you can find a way to get the phrase say no more candy store into your yep. character's dialogue ten times in a way that seems to make sense um, uh, I will give you A, inspiration and B, a fun prize I hope it's a new eyeball uh, uh, cool. Rufus, you were saying? When we got out of here before we had to go outside and then like up some back stairs and then we got on the roof but I, I, left I, I, I'll the stop roof. you I'll stop you just there. You didn't have to do any of that. Right. Right, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Peter sure. pedantry. <laughs> but... <laughs> I didn't have to put trousers we... on, but I did, lucky for you. He doesn't always. I don't always. Which is a shame in its own way because it covered up those magnificent shins. Mm. Oh, yeah, they do have good shins. You know what? We might uh... have told you this, but me and Ruff found out we have exactly the same really? shins. We, we don't have to tell them. We don't have to shin tell them. We're shin we twins. Okay. Well, it's but he, he told you now. When we when we got up on the roof before, we left all the ropes so we could come back that way. But we didn't actually come back that way, so the ropes are all still up there. If that we is did very want, true. If if we if we somehow hammer our way through the ceiling of this building. We should be able to, without having to go up outside, be able to get up onto the roof, and then we've got literally a walk, like a way of getting straight back round to the town hall. So if we did want to find the mayor, we should be able to do that without encountering too many zombies. Right, but from what you've told me, is the flat upstairs not now full of zombies? Yeah, it is. Yes, but they're very there good may tenants. Be one or... <laughs> there may be one or two zombies in that building, but we could hammer through the roof, kill the kill the zombies, kill the zombies that are in that room. So there's not going to be as many zombies in that room as there are <sighs> outside this place. And then once we've killed them, then we've got a way of getting round the town without having to keep fucking heading out into fucking the zombie hordes. That's that is quite sensible. Right. The aerial route did. I, 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 I won't lie. I would much prefer you didn't put a massive honking hole in my ceiling. Well, I would what prefer sort of was that? zombies. <laughs> but we can't hole. always get what we want. Oh, uh, no, you yeah, can't always get hole. what well, you want. Don't, that's actually a song from my old band. But if you try oh, sometimes, yeah. you just might find yeah. you get what you need. And right. Could that's you not? Cheese. Could you not send the halfling up through the chimney again? Have him drop a rope down. I'm very good at that. I am very good at that. <laughs> that. That is actually we could actually do that. Also, we've got we've got a lot of food. If there's some oil in there or something, we could grease me up, and that'll make it a lot easier. Yeah, I, I don't grease, grease the halfling. We grease the halfling. Grease the halfling. Grease the halfling. Grease the halfling. Don't know why I'm joining in. <laughs> well, that's a much better song, guys. We're doing much better. And on that delightful performance of Grease the Halfling, we're going to leave it for today. However, do stick around. We've got part two of episode three coming right up. And if you're enjoying the show, please like and subscribe. Also, have a look around the channel. There's other stuff. I mean, it's mostly me. Hey, if you like this shot, you're going to like my YouTube output. I'm sorry to tell you that the phrase, say no more candy store, has never come back up in the show. Yet, if you want to find out what happens when a halfling gets... Super greasy. Watch the next episode. Bye. Pointing.